I'm an official immigration consultant for Canada and member of ICCRC. Today, I would like to talk about marriage problems and Canada immigration. I'm getting quite a few cases where the couples are having some problems going on because of the problems either one of them is not interested in going to Canada or he is not ready to submit his documents okay now in this migration process when you are married you must submit all the details of your spouse you must submit his PCC also his police clearance certificate also and if you want to claim additional points then you must have his WS qualification assessment also and his ILTS also you can claim some additional points now so we are talking about this problems in marriages and if your partner is not interested in supporting you what to do now in such cases you should have some kind of a proof that there are trouble happening in your marriage supposing both of you are not staying together for more than one year you can always claim that you are separated or if there is some cases going on if he or she has sent you a legal notice or you have sent a legal notice to him or her whatever is the situation you should have that proof if there is some online mails exchange between you and your partner highlighting the problem going on in your relationship you should have that kind of a proof if you have made some kind of an efforts to sort out this matter like your parents his or her parents they have sat together they try to reconcile the things between you and your partner if you are having that kind of a proof we should have ready with those proofs also in essence you should have something which will establish that you are married but unfortunately you are still not divorced the divorce procedure is going on and because of this or that reason your husband or your wife is not ready to support for this migration process if you are having that kind of a proof we can go ahead another important aspect in such kind of a thing supposing you are having a child naturally in most of the cases the mother wants to the child with her in such circumstances you need a clearance from the biological father of that child that he has having no objection for that child to migrate with his or her mother please remember this is again an important aspect sometimes everything is good but because you are not having sufficient sufficient documentation or because you are not getting permission from your spouse about taking the child with you you may land in trouble so please listen carefully please be prepared to sort out these issues thank you thank you for listening